right. Um, okay. Uh, Okay. Um, ah, no, it's you. Here we go. Uh, yeah. All right. And oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, hey, hey, buddy. What are you doing, John? Can't you tell? It's a diving board. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Yeah, cannonball. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And you're watching the, the So and So Show. My mask is fogging up. Yeah, why are you wearing it? Uh, oh, because I'm learning to scuba dive and I want to get used to wearing the gear. Wouldn't scuba gear work better in water? Of course. That's why I have this. Ta-da! This? Mm -hmm. Not deep enough. Oh, I know, but it does the trick. You know, I can practice my front stroke or you know, my back stroke. Or, or the butterfly. What? Yeah. Now you're just making things up. Butterflies don't swim. <laughs> Who no, taught you this stuff? The internet? No. 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 You know what? Don't listen to the internet. There's a whole bunch of misinformation out there. Listen, I'll teach you how to scuba dive. Really? Sure! Oh. That's what friends do. They help each other out. Okay, okay. First things first, we have to make this water a little thicker. Okay, wait. What, thicker? Yeah. With instant mashed potatoes! <laughs> Really? Yeah. You need a little resistance to help build up your strength, you know. You know the saying, if you can scuba dive in mashed potatoes, you can scuba dive anywhere. That's, no, I haven't heard that. There. <laughs> oh, smells just like the wide blue ocean. More like grandma's house last Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, dive in. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What, yeah. what are you doing? I, I'm dashing. Backwards? Uh, yeah. No, I saw videos online of people falling backwards out of the boat into the water, so. <laughs> <laughs> What? You know what, it's a good thing I'm here to set you straight, okay? Because we are scuba diving. Oh. You know how to dive? You go head first, head first. Oh, no, 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 that's a good point. Yeah, 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 so... yeah okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go! Great job! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Okay, next we should practice your breathing. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> uh, okay, not bad. Really? Actually, that was terrible. No, oh. do this. Do this. Okay, ready? Yeah. No, more of a whistle. Okay, I think you're ready. Okay. Let's practice your swim strokes, all right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Swim strokes. First one. Oh, oh, yeah. Wave your arms like this. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, it's, of course not. It's the hummingbird stroke. It's one of the most advanced swimming strokes in the world. Oh, why don't we start with an easier one? Because scuba isn't easy. That's why they call it scuba. That doesn't make any sense. Swim. Swim. Oh, okay. Oh, Faster. Faster! Okay, you know what? There's a shark behind you! Swim faster! Okay, now, 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 now flip over, roll over on your back, and do the water smash! Yeah, yeah, slap the, slap the water, like this! Yeah! Oh, yes, yes, yes! That's great, no! Yeah, slap the water as hard as you can! Ah! 
Okay, great, 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 great. Now you've scared the shark away with the water smash. Now, to communicate with the dolphins, you need to take off your, uh, yes, yes, your scuba gear and, and, and your snorkel, and you need to completely get underneath the mashed potatoes. Okay. Okay, go for it. How many times have you been scuba diving? Oops. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, never. No. Well, I... You're not in the pool. You're telling me that you're trying to teach me how to scuba dive and you've never even been scuba diving yourself? Well, I watched some videos on the internet. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kelly. Hey guys. Wow, someone's hungry. Oh, after a swim like that, I'm starving. I was swimming. Yep, more like mashing. And I uh, thank you. Mm. Well, I hope you're also hungry for some verses from the Bible. Always. Today we're reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus was on a mountainside teaching a crowd of listeners when he said, Do not judge other people. Then you will not be judged. You will be judged in the same way you judge others. You will be measured in the same way you measure others. Jesus said we should think before we judge someone or try to correct them, because the same thing can happen to us. Well, let's see how this might play out in an everyday situation with our friends, Becky and Bethilda. Plie, two, three, hop! Plie, two, three, hop! And twos! <laughs> You're doing it wrong! Do it like this. Watch me. <laughs> See? You try. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be good as me. Bathilda, just what are you trying to do? I was, uh, I was just, uh, I was, nothing. Stop looking at me! Ah! Oops, Bathilda tried to correct Becky even when it looked like her own moves weren't much better. The wiser choice is to think about yourself before judging someone else. Let's see if Becky gets it. Plie, two, three, hop! Plie, two, three, hop! And twos! Wow, that's bad form. Well, so is mine. I'm just frustrated because I can't get it right. <laughs> we both can't. Well, maybe if we... That's it! Bethilda, grab my hand. What? Why? To help each other balance. Huh? <laughs> it worked! I am awesome! <laughs> now that's the way to do it. Becky saw that they both needed help and chose to help Bethilda instead of judging her. Jesus had more to say about this. He wanted you to imagine a friend with a bit of sawdust in their eye. You'd want to help that friend, right? But Jesus also wanted you to imagine that you have a whole piece of wood in your own eye. The solution is really simple. Jesus said, first take the piece of wood out of your own eye, then you will be able to see clearly to take the bit of sawdust out of your friend's eye. Before we start correcting someone or thinking we're better than someone else, we should take a closer look at ourselves. We could even ask, is there something in our own lives we need to deal with first? Well, let's see how this plays out with our friends, Pat and Donathan. Stop, stop, Just stop, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you. You put the glue 
on the inside of the house. That way the glue doesn't seep through the seams and it creates a better seal. See? Perfect. No. Huh? No. No. No! My birdhouse. Okay. Okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. It's okay. No. Medic! See? It doesn't make sense to tell other people they're wrong if you're seeing things the wrong way too. Maybe Pat can show us a better way. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, let's go birdhouse. Let's go, Jonathan. <laughs> That's not good. His house is gonna collapse any second. I should tell him. It's not like mine is any better. What should I do? <gasps> Wait a second, I have an idea. Yes, yes, this is exactly what my house needs. It's what we both need. Ugh, dude, get that clamp away from me. I don't need it. No thanks. <laughs> My house is built to last. <laughs> My bird house. No. Just give me that. I'll help. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Pat. No problem. Way to go, Pat. Did you catch that? Pat saw what he was doing wrong and made it right before correcting his friend. That was so wise. Jesus gave us an incredible lesson. We definitely want to help others when they're making unwise choices, but we can help them better when we have looked at ourselves closely first. When we learn to see ourselves more clearly, it can help us grow in wisdom the way Jesus did. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Kellen. Thanks, Kellen. Well, I guess I should apologize. Why? Well, for telling you how to scuba dive when I clearly had no idea what I was talking about. That's okay. I I'm sure I've corrected you when I shouldn't have before, too. Uh. Although, I think I'm seeing clearly now when I say that you shouldn't have eaten all of those mashed potatoes. They were delicious. I swam in those. Do not judge me! Reveal the question. What are you learning about yourself? Yeah, that's great, that's great. If, if we wanna see ourselves more clearly, we need to learn things about ourselves. You know, I've learned that I don't know much about scuba diving. And I'm learning that sometimes I take shortcuts when I should put in more effort, mm. like, like going to the internet to learn how to scuba dive instead of taking actual scuba diving class. I'm also learning that I should stop and ask myself if I'm qualified before I give advice. I appreciate that. No problem. And what about you? What are you learning about yourself? Could be something you've discovered that you're good at or, or something that makes you excited or even something you need to work on. Yeah, talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on The, the So-and-So so and so show. show. One more bite. Please. One more bite. I mean, sir, I was bite. in those. I know, but you, it wasn't, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Check, please. Mm -hmm. Check, please, here comes the waiter. Now tip, tip the waiter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Check, please, then tip, tip the waiter. Check, please, tip the waiter. Check, please, tip the waiter. That's right, that's right. And you're good <sighs> to think that you've never scuba before. I've never scuba either. What? We, we covered this. Oh, right. right, right. <laughs>